live. Romper, bumper, stomper, boo. Tell me, tell me, tell me, do. Magic mirror, tell me today. Are my friends ready for fun and play? Welcome to 8th Street here in the village. Here amongst the NYU campus. Good to see you, Lori. Welcome. Aren't you going to have some? No, sorry. Lori was first, Sergio, but good to see you. Sorry, sorry. Lori was first. Good to see you, Anders. Hello. We're going to see something pretty cool. We're going to see this. The world's tallest rhinoceros sculpture bringing awareness to the plight of the white rhino across the world. Good to see you, TYC. We're going to see a, a sculpture that pays homage to the, the last three white northern rhinos in the world. Good to see you, Jamie. Yeah, she beat you to it. Good, good to see you. I'm here on a, for me, for an old man like myself, an almost unrecognizable 8th Street here. Ricky's is not here anymore. Yes, there's only three white northern rhinos in the world. Go to goodbyerhinos.org to find out some more information about this art exhibit. But let's walk over there. I have already seen this thing. It looks cool. Laughing out loud to see me. Uh, see you two maybe next time. Okay. <laughs> Good to see you, Irma Perez. It's very sad, yes. Uh, they're tusks. Even though the tusks are made out of the same material as our fingernails, their tusks are, are worth uh, their weight, more than their weight in gold. So, unfortunately, the rhinoceros tusk tray is still very prevalent in China and in Vietnam. Yeah, they're literally, on, they're literally one, of the, one of the most endangered species like around. And there's literally only three of them. Yes, it's used in Asian medicine and whatnot. People think it's an aphrodisiac. Lots of weird things. Lots of weird things. But this will be my first time actually seeing the new Astor Place. Uh, <laughs> this will be the first time seeing the Astor Place uh, pedestrian plaza. So I'm looking forward to that. Yes, exactly. They have magical powers, even though they're the same material as our fingernails. <laughs> But let's go over to Astor Place. Exactly, Laurie. Exactly. All right, let's quickly cross Broadway here and uh, make our way over here. Good afternoon, Boozy Bag of Bell. Broadway. Exactly. It's kind of weird. But yes, the only proper horns as we're now behind the old Kmart here the old company I used to work for AC Nielsen has its offices above here I used to get my paycheck from here back in the day and truth be told I haven't been up here to Pastor Place in quite a long time so for me it's quite fun seeing all this and then after this broadcast concludes we're gonna go up to Midtown and see another piece of art Ooh, look at that okay okay I'm gonna to try to tease you guys I don't want to show it to you guys right away so I'm gonna do my best to keep it out of the shot until we're right in front of it I think it looks cool as we have <laughs> the village, the East Village, to me, almost unrecognizable coming on out here. Especially just building across the street. Wow. <coughs> right across the street from the Cooper Union. in that building, in the Great Hall, Cooper Union. Uh, what's his name? Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Had a big speech in there. A 
Wow, this is like so new. Good, I'm really teasing this for you guys because you have no idea how cool this thing looks. And then of course that cube, the famous Alamo, returned after being refurbished for a few years. Let's see if it still spins. Let's see if it still spins. Let's see. Let's see if we can make the sculpture move. Oh, yes we can. Yes we can. I need two people to do this. I need two people to spin this thing. Oh, I need two people to spin this thing. All right, guys, here we go. Let's look at it. The world's tallest rhinoceros sculpture. If you like this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. And for the one person who likes to give me a, or two people that give me a thumbs down, feel free to give me a thumbs down. But if you like this kind of content, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. For every thumbs up here on YouTube, it's 10,000 periscope hearts, a completely arbitrary number I made up one night. And now, as we spin around, there it is. Standing roughly 17 feet tall. Paying homage to the last three white rhinoceroses, white northern rhinoceroses. This piece is called The Last Three. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Good to see you. Look at the detail on this. Oh my goodness. This thing is cool. This thing is cool. Wow. Oh, it's real. It's real. And it is here. Let's move back up here. Got a nice little crowd here. They unveiled this yet. Well, it, it showed up here yesterday. And uh, today was the official unveiling. But go to, uh, say, uh, what, was it, what is it again? Goodbyerhinos.org to learn about this and the plight of the rhino around the world. This is quite impressive, quite detailed. It's incredible, right? Let me come around here. Maybe in the other side here to look a little bit better with the sunlight on this side here. Oh yeah, it looks a little bit better over this side here. You're impressed? Yeah, I'm, in, I'm quite impressed myself. I, I do not know how long it's gonna be here. They, they did not give a, an exact time frame on how long is it gonna be here. I just realized I'm standing in a new pedestrian plaza of uh, Astor Place. This is normally the, this is normally the street. Actually, not used to standing here. This is kind of a, kind of amazing. But there you have it, folks. The last three. Paying homage to the last white northern northern white rhinoceros is left in the world. Quite impressive. Impressive. Most impressive. <laughs> As people take selfies in front of it. Very smart sculpture. Got a picture here of the artists who have created it. As people, I don't know, I'm these people shot, but here's a, here's a picture of the artists right there. Well, I don't, I think white is more of like, you see how they're like ash, kind of ash colored? I think that's what they mean by white rhinos. The amount of detail on this thing is, is amazing. There's quite a lot of detail and it's quite the, the crowd, the crowd pleaser, this guy here. There's people here, we're here on, this is Astor Place, Lafayette Avenue right down here. The sights and the sounds of the city. One of the last Kmarts around right there and then you have this big rhinoceros sculpture thingy 
I think it's made out of, uh, if not fiberglass, I think they're family friendly. I mean, they are anatomically correct, but that's right. They came out with like four floors, correct? Uh, people got the Dutch word for wide, for wide with white, referring to the mouth of the rhino. Interesting. Uh oh. This is a platinum level walking community. Okay. Did not know that. They're just putting up signs just to make it seem like it's safe to walk around. So go to go to uh, goodbyerhinos.org and you can find out the story behind there. But there he is. Kind of amazing. See the real life rhinos now inside the indie augmented reality app. <laughs> Sounds feasible, right? Kind of amazing. These things have these things have some detail on it. Quite impressed. But you could download the app, right? And I could see the white, northern white rhinos move and walk and react here in Astro Place. Wow, I'm gonna have to download that app. I wanna download this app now and see the rhinos walk around Astro Place. <laughs> and there are their names Sudan, Najin, and Fatu. Those are the, the last three. Oh, it's metal. Ah, oh, it's metal. The two kinds of rhino ones that eat all bushes and grass. I think they all eat bushes and grass. Pretty cool. Pretty cool and nice addition to the Astor Place pedestrian mall. It's, it's just people watch for a little bit here. <laughs> it's a ground grazer, okay. <laughs> he just sighed loud. Went, <sighs> Evidently me, me holding the phone and stuff it's like annoyed him. I feel bad for him that people like him annoy me. It's a beautiful day, Joey. Everyone follow Joey here on YouTube. He did a lovely periscope down there in County Ireland. Good to see you down. Probably beautiful down there in County Ireland. Nice and empty down there. Good to see you, Abby. You're more than welcome, Joey. Caught a little bit of your scope and replay uh, on the subway. This is the world's tallest rhinoceros sculpture called The Last Three, playing homage to the northern white rhinoceros, the last three alive white northern rhinoceroses. Oh, people flat out modeling. Want to see the cube, Jim? There's the cube. Bloody signals pull on the trains again. It's okay. And they they they, they, uh, they haven't oiled oiled it up, Jim. So I can't spin it around. I try to I try to just spin it around just now, and I can't. I need, you need two people to spin it around now. Back in the day, just one person could spin around the cube. It, this cube is called the Alamo. Signals on fleek today. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, you could spin it, but it's it's really really hard to spin it now. It's not as easy as when right before they refurbished it. Oh, there they go. They got to spin it. They got to try to spin it. <laughs> and now, and now everybody's taking a picture with the rhinoceroses now. Everybody's taking pictures with the rhino. And join in. <laughs> they got a, 
Oh, he's trying. He's trying. He's trying. Yeah, it's still on its mounts. It's still could. It's on the mount here. Uh, where is this sculpture? We're on Astor Place right now. Eighth Street, Broadway's right over there. This is Lafayette. Spin, spin. Yeah, this thing is like, it's hard to move. This thing has to spin. It's, it's still on the, on the thing. Let's try it one more time. Oh yeah. I think that thing does not want to move. Right before they refurbished it, I remember it was really, really easy to move. Cooper Square, correct? You could say that. Oh, he's riding the rhino. See, now people are climbing the sculpture. This is not good. Now people, now everyone's gonna climb the sculpture now. Everyone's gonna climb the rhino now. It's now budging. No, it's not budging. No, gotta get some WD forty. Gotta go across the street over to uh, to 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 Kmart. <laughs> go over to Kmart, get some WD forty, and maybe make the Alamo spin again. I freaking love the detail on this thing, though. So it's made out of metal. Now we know. It is made out of metal. Maybe, maybe Behringer. I know, they almost look real, right? Isn't it amazing? It's 17 feet tall. Yes, the Kmart is still open, but barely. The Kmart is still open, but barely. Here are the artists who have created it. And I think those are the three rhinos we're talking about right there. On their website, they have their whole little adventure going out to Africa. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's based on a real rhino trick. I would love to see rhinoceroses do this in real life. It would be something amazing to see them to see them do this. P.T. Barnum would be proud if you ever saw something like this. <laughs> well, it's very impressive here to see this. And I did not know how long it's going to be here. So uh, hopefully it'll be here for a while. Hopefully it'll be here throughout the summertime, but you never know. They put no timetable on how long it's going to be here for. I tell you, everyone's it's a, definitely a crowd. Bring, brings out the crowds of people here. It takes a lot for New Yorkers just to stop in their, in their tracks and stare at something. But when you have uh, 17 feet worth of rhinoceros staring you in the face, kind of, uh, kind of exciting. Well. <laughs> More art to come today on my YouTube channel. We're going to go up to Midtown now. And there is a weird art exhibit where it is an animation and you row this thing like a boat and it creates an animation that goes around you. So we're going to go next. We're going to go up to Midtown next. But there it is. So don't forget to go to uh, goodbyerhinos.org to find out more about these guys and about all the plight of the rhinoceroses from around the world. Whoa. 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 But now I'm going to take some Instagrams of this guy here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick video here in Astor Place. But from Astor Place, here in the village, in Manhattan, New York City, this is Dutch Moss signing off. Have a fantastic New York day, whether you live here or not. Hug your loved ones. Cherish the moment. And good afternoon, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. You're more than welcome for the aerobatic rhinos. Good to see you, Ed. I'll see you guys later, folks. We'll be up in Midtown next. Bye-bye.